Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm doing another minifigure build and review today. And today I'm showing how to make Jyn Erso from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Um, if you don't have the f the actual official minifigure, I know that the she does come in the um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, it's just come in the Scarif Attack set, but only in the, um, like, Battle and Scarif, and in the, the Starfighter thing, the, uh, Starfighter from Rogue One, and the, um, the Scarif set, and I don't have, I only have the Hover Tank, as you know, because I reviewed that a few days ago, so, I'm going to show you how to make her today. And, um, I just saw Rogue One last night, actually, and it was awesome. It was amazing, and I loved it. Um, it was kind of sad. Uh, there were moments where I felt like I was kind of going to cry in there, but it's a, it's a really good movie, very action-packed. Lots of, like, exciting battles happen. No lightsabers, actually, until Darth Vader pops up at the end, but I don't want to spoil too much. I was thinking of doing a movie review. You guys should tell me if you want to do a movie review. Um, maybe I, I'm probably not going to do that. But anyway, let's get into actually making Jyn or so. So I've got the parts and the figures you're going to need lined up here. So the first figure you're going to need is the Unkar Thug from the Ray Speeder. So finally I have that character. So take the legs off and the hood and the head. And replace the black hands with skin colored hands, and you need a short blaster pistol like this for her. So that looks kind of like her jacket that she wears. Then, the next figure up is Ray. You're going to need her head, and that's all you're going to need from Ray. So there's her face for that. You're going to need, I got this from the boxer girl from the. I think it's series 16 minifigures, and all you're going to need is the hairpiece. I would suggest if you have one of these, use it in dark brown instead of the light brown. And you could even use Ray's hairpiece, actually. Ray's hairpiece might look okay. I'll try that after. Um, and one of the, just like the normal hairpieces with the ponytail at the back in dark brown, I know I have one of those. I just don't know where it is right now, so I'm just working with what I have at hand. So, yeah, we're going to need that hairpiece. And then the legs are optional here. I have optional legs. You can use the Urkai pants or the Death Star Trooper legs. I haven't tried the Death Star Trooper legs. I don't know. The Death Star Trooper legs, maybe... I feel like I like these better. But maybe if I just use this hip piece, maybe I'd like it better. Um, I'm just experimenting here. This idea just literally popped in my head because I just watched Rogue One. I was like, how about I make a Rogue uh, or a Jyn Erso minifigure? So, I thought, why not? Ah, man. These legs are really tough. Um, I'm, I'm going to take a break for a second of doing that because my fingers get sore from trying to do that. So, so far, this is, um, what our minifigure looks like here. So, it looks pretty awesome so far. Um, I'm just gonna need to take the legs off of this figure. Um, and put them on this hip piece. And, no, I don't like that. Maybe on this hip piece. It's got a little bit of printing on it. I just feel like maybe that would look good because it looks like, kind of like a belt type thing. Actually, that does look pretty good right there. Like the belt, it kind of looks like a belt. So, Urkai legs, uh, Death Star Trooper hip piece, and you got Jyn Erso. So that's my Jyn Erso figure here. Um, maybe I'll do a video on the whole team. I'm not sure. Um, I've still got like just like base Malbus. 
Um, I already have um, Shrek in way, so I can just put him in the side gym. I have an official figure for him. Um, it's like a base Malbus. There are obviously figures. There's base Malbus. Who else is there? Cassian Andor, K2SO. K2SO is going to be hard to make. I probably won't be able to make him. I love K2SO, though. He was my favorite character in the movie. Um, um, oh, Bodhi Rook. I have Bodhi Rook. Um... I think that's the whole team, right? Jin, Shurit, Bays, Bodhi, and Cassian. I think that's all of it. The, uh, the Rebel team. So there you go. That's how to make... Whoa. How to make Shurit Inway's staff fly out of his hand, apparently. But that's how to make Jin Erso in Lego. Here's a close-up of the figure here. I think we did a good job. Maybe I'll do another video, like, once I find a different hairpiece that works better, or, like, different legs. I kind of just jumped into this, because I try to make a video each day, and I... If you haven't seen my series going on right now, Star Wars Rebellion, it was actually, um... It's actually a series that I made up with my cousin. We were making up a story, and I thought, I want to, like, share this with other people, and then I thought, how would I redo it in Lego? And I think it's turned out good, so if you want to watch that, go ahead. Um, but anyway, that's that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you don't miss out on any more videos. And have a good day and take care. Bye.